California Representative-elect Daryl Issa says it's appropriate to appoint a special prosecutor to investigate Joe Biden's corruption allegations. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. Looking at uh, talking about your past experience a little bit, of course, you led many investigations, many investigations into the Obama administration, uh, uh, corruption, uh, potential corruption at some of these agencies. You see a current investigation going on, I believe, in the Senate, Senate Judiciary Committee, with regard to the FBI, some of the uh, abuses there. What do you make of that investigation so far, and um, how might uh, uh, a congressman, Daryl Issa, complement that? Well, I think uh, what I'm going to do is the same thing I did a couple years ago, which was controversial, when I was asked uh, whether or not there should be a special prosecutor to make sure that we ended once and for all with high confidence the question of whether there was collusion with the Russians. And it was painful for the president and for his family, but at the end of it all, he was fully cleared. And I personally hope he pardons the people who were collateral damage, but it, it served a purpose. I'm calling on the president, through his attorney general, to name a special prosecutor. We need to have somebody in the second term of the Trump administration or the first of the Biden administration. We need to have somebody who is beyond the micromanaging or any question of partisan. We need to have somebody who's going to investigate this. Hunter Biden cannot be investigated by President Biden. And it wouldn't be the same to have him investigated, quite frankly, by President Trump. So uh, I believe that the most important thing is to set up a consul who has the continuity, who goes as long as they need to go to get the job done, and then reports to the American people. I know that's not the easiest thing and people object to it, but I want the American people to know if, if Hunter Biden somehow is innocent, he should be vindicated. But if Hunter Biden and President Biden in fact, if the big guy was getting 10 percent, if in fact there's that level of corruption as has been alleged, we have to make sure that that's going to be investigated no matter who's in the Oval Office and investigated in a nonpartisan way. And so that, more than anything else, is what I hope that everyone rings the Capitol and rings the White House and says, no, we need that. What happened to the president with Mueller may be difficult and painful, but it was a process that ultimately vindicated him. I'm not sure that it's going to vindicate this other group, including Hillary Clinton, Hunter Biden, and others, but we need to have it, and we need to have them potentially even look into, or not potentially, but look into the misconduct of the FBI, the misconduct of the Department of Justice. That's not going to happen without something that is very different, and I hope we get it. And so this person would look into Hunter Biden, but perhaps uh, the former vice president as well. It's the only way to have it happen. Uh, back when I was a child, in the Watergate <laughs> era, it was a special prosecutor that ultimately, Nixon, of course, wanted him fired because he was getting too close. Uh, but it was part of a process, as painful as it was, that exposed what happened in Watergate and led to a president stepping down. If we don't have that, there is a not just a very high chance, but a 100% guarantee that if President Biden is sworn in, if he becomes president yes. on January 20th, mm -hmm. that this will go away. He will sweep it under the rug. And so only the president beginning it now can at least create the environment in which the American people will see the wrongdoing if the special prosecutor is somehow dismissed on January 21st. But I believe very strongly that the president should do that and he should do it before the election is, is decided so that there's a clear understanding that he did it, still thinking he was getting a second term, but knowing that we had to have, we had to, on all of these things, we have to have the truth. We didn't get the truth under Loretta Lynch. We didn't get the truth under Eric Holder. We're not going to get the truth in a Biden-Harris administration under those same type of people that get appointed by, uh, if you will, the continuation of Obama-Biden. Congressman Dale Liza, Congressman-elect, I should say. Thank you for talking to us on One American News, sir. Thank you. Good to be back. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.